Welcome to Metaphor Mondays, a weekly short series in which I share and break down a metaphor and show you how using visual, descriptive language like metaphors, analogies, and other imagery can be a really great way to begin to see things differently at work, in business, and beyond. This week's metaphor is something that happened to me on Friday, and I would venture a guess that it has happened to you in one way or another before. See, I was, you see these little necklaces right here? I was taking these from my bureau top and putting them on, and they had intertwined themselves into each other. And I was not in a super big rush, but I was trying to get myself ready. I had a meeting to take and I had to go prep for it. And the last thing I wanted to do was sit and fiddle and untangle my necklaces. And as I was doing this, I, I had two trains of thought in my brain. One was the steep annoyance of, oh my gosh, these are so tangled. I want to wear these. Oh my gosh, this is going to waste more time. And then the other train of thought in parallel was, Jane, the more you try to move quickly, the tighter you're actually going to make this knot. And the second I realized that, I slowed down and saw that the only way for me to untangle the two pieces and be able to wear them was to be able to move slowly and thoughtfully and not be overwhelmed, stressed, or annoyed. And in that moment, I realized what a wonderful and really beautiful metaphor to break down this week. How many times is there something in our businesses, in our workplaces, in our personal lives where we're annoyed by the circumstance, we want to blaze through, but by doing so, we're just tightening that knot. And the only way to move forward and get our desired result, in this case, untangling these two pieces, which I did, as you can see, the only way forward is to slow down to more thoughtfully and deliberately untangle the knot. As always, I'm really curious to hear what this metaphor might spark in you this week. Leave a comment down below, a question if you have one. As always, feel free to share a metaphor that you want me to consider breaking down. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Monday.